down seven to two in the seventh inning on the road. Uh, how would you describe the determination you saw from your players to the point where you got the tying run to third base in the ninth? Yeah, uh, the guys kept fighting. I mean, we fought all the way through the game. Um, nothing came easy. You know, it felt like, uh, uh, you know, regardless of what happened, you kind of behind the eight ball a little bit, but it didn't matter. Our guys continued to play hard. Um, went out there, got some outs later on in the game kept us in the ball game and, and gave our offense a chance. And, and our guys uh, kept swinging the bats. Um, and then we're facing, you know, one of the best closers in baseball out there. And we gave ourselves uh, a chance to be basically a swing away from, from uh, taking the lead. So um, you know what, it's, uh, it's not what we're looking for. We're looking to win this ball game right here, but uh, I, I can't, uh, you know, deny the, the determination that you mentioned, Marnie. I mean, that's, that's what the guys did tonight. They, they played hard. With uh, Kenta Maeda, the walks were really uncharacteristic. What kind of things did you see him try to work through and fight through in the first few innings of the game? Yeah, I, I think Kenta's uh, command was was certainly uh, uh, not there tonight the way it would normally be. Um, things that I can probably look at, um, you know, the, the humidity and, and the sweating uh, related to everything that's kind of been going on in the game and um, – you know, some guys having an inability to, uh, you know, feel the ball with, with that, you know, continual perspiration showing up, um, I think was a little bit of a challenge. I think that was at least part of uh, part of what was going on tonight. It was an extraordinarily humid night um, out there on the field and, uh, and everyone, you know, both sides were, um, were dealing with that. Uh, I think he threw a few good pitches that he, that he, uh, you know, they may have been, they may have been strikes. They may have been close. Um, I think he he wanted probably four or five of them at the bottom of the zone that he didn't get. Um, and I think the, some of those at bats kind of they turned things around pretty quickly in the favor of the White Sox. And uh, that that made things tough. And after throwing a couple of good pitches that he uh, that Kenta was probably looking for, um, then he kind of, you know, went away and, and was out of the zone for a little while after, uh, I think, being disappointed by um, you know, throwing some good pitches and not getting the, the, the calls that he was looking for. So that, that was, that's hard. Um, you know, we don't normally, uh, you know, identify that as, as something that we point to, um, as a, as a reason that we lost, but it was, it, I think it was hard on him and I think it affected, affected him in, in some ways. Uh, I, Rocco, I know when, um, Keta took some time off the IL, he pointed to his uh, fastball velocity not being there or something that concerned him. It looked like it was down again today. Is that something you can also attribute to the humidity or is that a cause for concern at all? You know what? I, I wasn't concerned watching Kenta um, visually. The The radar gun is in kind of a, uh, an awkward spot from the dugout, you know, not necessarily where we're looking all the time. So it wasn't something that I was focused on, but Wes was not um, uh, worried uh, about that in any way. Uh, but m usually what uh, we'll find out, the most important way to find out how's, how a guy's feeling and what he's doing is just by asking the, the pitcher. Uh, and, and Kenta will, will certainly uh, communicate that to us if he's having any issues. And I don't think he's having any physical issues. I think um, as he was trying to find his command, uh, maybe he dialed some of those pitches down to, to get the ball in the, in the strike zone. Um, and the humidity, I'm not sure if that affected him. I think that would be a question for him that maybe he could uh, elaborate on. 